Intelligent Concrete, where innovation and sustainability meet technology. Howdy y'all, John Belkowitz here. Uh, we're about to run through ASTMC 305, which is a neat cement paste mixing. Well, you can do mortar, neat cement paste grout, but we're gonna focus on this neat cement paste. It's not often done, uh, and we're running it with a series of tests that we're doing with the university. So uh, we're gonna go through the winding up process, the mixing process, and then the casting process. Well, the casting process is very specific, so I think we're gonna skip that. But at least the mixing process and the winding up process. So have an awesome day, and uh, excited to get this uh, video going. Hi there, I am Whitney, and I am doing way ups today. Like John said, we're doing a neat cement piece, so we just have cement and water, and we do our way ups right before we do mixes. And especially when we have a batch of a few that we're doing, first of all, you want to start with clean containers. Let's start there. But then we like to write down Sorry. how much we're weighing of each. Um, that way we just are verifying that we're doing the correct amount here. And then we can double check as we're putting them into the mixer. So for my water, I've got 265.9. We do go out to the 10th gram. Got our scale teared. We're trying to get, well, we're not trying to get. We're getting 592.2 on our cement. We're going to cover this guy up so we're ready and then for our water we are going to 265.9 got some water here and i have my pipette to make sure i'm getting it just right oh, and we're good to go there so we're sealing these guys up and we are ready to start mixes. All right, y'all, let's get into the mixing process. We're in our 50% room. We got our timer that has been stopped, reset, and started. Okay. All right, y'all. So Whitney got everything weighed up for us, bless her. I'm gonna put my water in here. The water goes directly into my mixing bowl. And then from there, I'm going to pour my cement powder in, or my binding powder. And this has got to stay in there for 30 seconds. So I start at 27. I'm going to get all the powder in there. Make sure it's soaking. There you go. 30 seconds. Mixing speed one. We mix it for 30 seconds. All right, now you got 15 seconds, and you're gonna mix up the bowl. What's in here, and you got a nice looking paste. What you want to make sure is you get everything off the sides, and I always check the bottom nugget. There's just like the bottom portion here. Yeah, make sure it's all nice and yummy and get that stuff off the side. Of course, I just put it back on the side. Okay, now back on the bowl. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it up to speed number two. Speed number two for 60 seconds. There we go. That is a pretty paste. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get this into uh, our molds. Howdy y'all, we're back. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this paste inside these samples. Now remember, like I said, this is not ASTMC 109, or this is not 
you know, ASTMC 39, I don't know why you would use that with a paste, but what we're doing is something very, very specific to our, our test. And like I said, we're working, working with the university. Let me see if I can, oops, I'm making a big old mess here, Wit. That's all right, I'll clean it up. So we get our material in there. We get half of a lift. There you go. And we're going to turn the frequency down. So we're going to keep it in there for uh, 30 seconds. And we get that next lift in there. Let's go ahead and fill that. Well, thanks for joining us today, folks. Uh, we went over ASTMC 305, standard practice for mechanical mixing of hydraulic, hydraulic, cement paste, and mortars of plastic consistency. I gotta breathe when I say that. I got lightheaded. We focused on cement paste mixes, and I believe that is section 7, 7 1 through 7 1 1. 7.1.5 and it's you know you should have seen it's not that difficult uh, we were doing it specifically to uh, identify uh, calcium hydroxide formation and calcium oxychloride formation but I've used this method to look at pace under you know scanning electron microscopy transmission electron microscopy uh, fracture analysis you know, it's more of these microscopic tests rather than the macroscopic tests. Now, we have done compressive strengths. You know, you can go directly from ASTMC 305 to 309, which is the small cubes. Um, but this is, if you've never read it before, if you've never used it, it's a great ASTM. It's easy to use. I recommend diving into it. I'll make sure that we throw a link below to go directly to this ASTM. You, you do have to buy it. Um, you can't get it free from the uh, organization, um, and I think they charge you somewhere between $30 and $50 for this standard. So, yeah, let us know if you have any questions and if you enjoyed this video, and if you want other videos like this. We're going to get into the different specialty methods that we do here in our lab and you know have to do to work with the uh, other institutions that we collaborate with. So, thanks again for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beat asphalt.